Hello, this is Dr. Srinivas Murthy TM. I am an ENT consultant practicing at Ashwanpur. I consult at Columbia Asia Referral Hospital Ashwanpur as well as my clinic which is Srinivas Speciality ENT Center uh, which is located in Ashwanpur. To answer this question, we need to know where the sinuses are located. Now, to make it easier, I would um, uh, explain the sinuses as structures uh, which are located um, around the eyes and the nose. Now, so if this is the nose and these are the eyes, uh, there are four different types of sinuses. Uh, the sinus which is located above the eyes is called as the frontal sinus. There are two sinuses which are located below the eyes called the maxillary sinus, which is in the cheekbone. And there are two sinuses in between the eyes called the ethmoid sinus. And there are two sinuses which are approximately in the center of the skull, uh, behind the orbit, uh, and that is called as sphenoid sinus. Now, when somebody gets a sinus um, infection, let us say an acute sinusitis, a common cold uh, which has become, uh, which has infected the sinuses, uh, people tend to get up early in the morning with a headache, uh, heaviness in the head. They'll feel the whole head is very heavy, groggy, their nose is congested, their nose is blocked. Uh, so, all signs of um, cold will be there along with a headache. This is what is a sinus headache. Now, if uh, predominantly the headache is um, in the frontal region, then it is a frontal sinus headache. If it is predominantly over the cheek, then it is a maxillary sinus headache. If the patient um, experiences pain at the back of the head um, uh, or at the top of the head, then it is largely a um, sphenoid sinus headache. And if it is at the root of the nose, then it would be ethmoid sinusitis. Now, uh, it would also make us um, a little bit more um, aware of which sinus to uh, look for and what to look for. Supposing somebody comes to us with a maxillary sinus um, uh, a pain, on one side especially, then I would be more keen on looking at what is called as a dentogenic sinusitis. That means whether there is any dental reason for the sinus to have got infected. Uh, if somebody comes to me with a headache in the forehead uh, and if the person happens to be a child less than 12 years, I would really not be bothered about a sinusitis because it, um, this sinus tends to uh, be fully formed only after 12 years of age. So it's very, very unlikely that a child of say 10 years will come to me with a frontal sinusitis. But if somebody does come to me with um, uh, congestion, nose block and um, root of the nose pain, then I know I am dealing with sinusitis of that region and uh, that helps me make a diagnosis and give them appropriate treatment. 